Ever wondered why a dry cough seems to linger longer than you expect? Let's unlock the mystery of the dry cough. It's a type of cough that does not produce any phlegm or mucus. Common culprits of this ailment include allergies, irritants in the air, or even a simple case of post-nasal drip. Now, why is it so prevalent in many illnesses? A study from the National Center for Biotechnology Information suggests that a dry cough can be an early symptom of an underlying health issue. It's your body's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. But wait, how does it differ from a productive cough? Well, while a dry cough is like a lone wolf not producing any mucus, a productive cough is its social counterpart, often accompanied by phlegm. Now that you understand what a dry cough is, let's delve into some remedies that can help alleviate it. When it comes to treating a dry cough, you have several options. Indeed, the world of cough remedies is as varied as it is vast. Let's dive in and explore some of the most effective treatments for that pesky dry cough. First up, over-the-counter medications. These are a common go-to for many people. They work by either suppressing the cough reflex or by thinning and loosening mucus in the airways, making it easier to cough up. But remember to always follow the instructions on the label and consult a pharmacist if you're unsure. Now let's take a detour to the kitchen. Here we find honey, a sweet remedy that's been used for centuries. According to a study published on PubMed, honey can be just as effective as many over-the-counter cough medicines. A spoonful of honey, especially mixed with warm water or herbal tea, can soothe a sore throat and calm a cough. And speaking of liquids, Let's talk about hydration. Water, clear broths, herbal teas, or warm fruit juices can help soothe a dry throat and thin mucus, making it easier to cough up. A study from the National Center for Biotechnology Information underscores the importance of staying hydrated when dealing with a cough. Of course, these remedies are not one-size-fits-all solutions. Each person is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. And while these remedies can help, it's crucial to see a healthcare provider if a dry cough persists for more than a week or is accompanied by other severe symptoms. A persistent cough could be a symptom of a more serious condition such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, or even heart disease. So if your cough doesn't improve after a week or if it's accompanied by symptoms like high fever, chest pain, or difficulty breathing, seek medical attention immediately. Remember, while these remedies can provide temporary relief, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider for persistent coughs. After all, your health should always be your top priority. So, listen to your body, take care of yourself, and don't hesitate to seek professional help when you need it. Prevention, as they say, is better than cure. So how can we prevent dry cough? Well, one of the most effective ways is maintaining good hand hygiene. It's simple, yet powerful. Regularly washing your hands can help keep those pesky germs at bay. Next, try to avoid exposure to irritants like smoke or dust. These can often trigger a dry cough. So if you can help it, try to steer clear of these as much as possible. Staying healthy overall is another great preventive measure. This includes eating well, getting regular exercise, and making sure you're getting enough sleep. All these contribute to a stronger immune system, which can better fend off potential causes of a dry cough. Now, if you have any home remedies or personal experiences with dry cough, we'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Thank you for tuning in to Facts Academy 0122. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.